last season on The Preachers of L.A. Put your hands together! Shout hallelujah! Spirit-filled people! Hit one note for me. I'm going to hit you with this skill. The righteousness of God is achieved by believing what God says. I don't okay. care what they say, man. I will never walk away from God. If I love him, who cares if I live with Dietrich Haddon? That's not God's will that you do that. You shut, shut me out. That's what you do, man. You, you did shut me out. Tell me to turn the cameras off. Enough is enough. I'm still a very active drug user. Okay, guess what? Your story is going to be a story of redemption. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just ask that you would heal all the hurt. Let you touch her legs, touch her ankles. We ask for your healing power. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus! And now... For the first time since season one, the preachers of L.A. are all together. Well, almost all of them. Bishop Jones and Bishop McClendon won't be joining us. Yeah. What happens yeah. in Man Cave? No limit. Stays, stays in Man Cave. Bling, bling. I don't wear it, I bear it. <laughs> My name is Ron Gibson, and I approve the word of God. Speak it up! I share the opinion that Ron Gibson was out of order, dipping in other folk business. What, you the marriage police? You guys are making this personal. I'm the man you, whose business you talking about. And I'm going to keep talking about that's my job to defend the gospel. No, no, he wasn't no, keeping no, his rocket no, in his no, pocket. No, no. You're indicting me, so you're going to let me talk. Say something. It, it's bull crap. You said enough to try to destroy me. Teacher, come back, man. Come on, man. Ladies. Turn down for what? The pulpit pastor is a pastor. When he's at home, he's a man. An anointed man knows how to what? Carry it on into the bed. That's all right. He's an animal. <laughs> enough is enough, hey. ladies. Tonight on the Preachers of LA special, you won't want to miss a second of it. They call me a hero. You look I mean, You look good. Smart. You smell good. What you doing? I'm going to a reunion. Is this what you're wearing? Yeah, what do you think? If I like no. the high heels. The higher the heels, the closer you are to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a reunion show, and I nice. want to put my best foot forward. You know, they have this lady hosting the reunion, Michelle Williams, of Destiny's Child. I don't care if she was Janet Jackson. It's at Man Cave, LeVette. You don't even break the man code to come to man cave. Be nice. I'm gonna be nice. Let me tell you, you be careful at woman cave. Oh yeah. Oh. Turn up for the reunion. Man cave, baby. Just think about this. Powder blue, oh, double breast suit. You need to rock this Ted Baker. You put this on, I'll climb you like a tree. Oh man. Michelle gonna be at the man cave. I need some estrogen in there. Yeah, we need something to balance us out. Them jokers are crazy. You when you get in there, you act like a wolf, too. All oh, y'all barking. Arr, arr. Because there's a spirit in that house. Think daddy should go? I'm going anyway. Be a good boy. I wonder how all those guys are dressed. I'm wearing my Converse. So. Hey, well, those aren't any Converse. Those are... No, those are nice Converse. Here's the jacket I think I'm gonna wear. I think you should roll the sleeves up. Hmm. That's a good idea. I could wear your hat. Wear your hat. Hey, don't touch my hat. You'll you'll stretch it out with that big head of yours. <laughs> Whoa, looking good. So what do you think? What do you mean, what do I think? You can't see the drool on the bed? Let me clean that up. You know what happened last time you went to the man cave. Yeah, man cave was heavy. You've been boxing anyway, so. So what are you doing? I'm packing. Get ready for man go. cave, right? No, I'm not packing to go to man cave. I'm packing to go out. I would have gone to Man Cave, but I've got a problem. I have to attend to one of the members and their family, and so when you got a church my size, 
You gotta do what you gotta do. So you telling me you're not gonna go see Ron Gibson at Man Cave? No, I'm not going. I can't go. But why are you dressed up like this? What are you, a Southern Belle or something? <laughs> Walk around with hats on in the middle of the day? I'm going to a tea party today, and all the ladies will be attending. What do you anticipate? It's gonna be you and I. Do they have anything else to talk about? Well, they may have something else to talk about, but they won't talk about it. It would just be about why we aren't married. You know, the same old, same old. Nothing new. So, um, enjoy the rest so of your day. So, have a good day. Uh, now, how do I give you a hug with like a hat? This, like, like this, like this. Mm. All right. Really cute. Hello, everybody. I'm Michelle Williams, gospel recording artist and former member of the Grammy Award winning group Destiny's Child. I'd like to welcome you to the first ever Preachers of LA special. Right now, I'm standing outside of Bishop Ron Gibson's man cave. I'm about to go where no woman has ever gone before. Well, come on in the room. A woman is here. Uh oh. Here to save the day. You are here. Come save on, save the day. Steve, you're, you're in man cave now. I'm yes. so happy to be here. Yeah. Bless you, Bishop. You. Good to see you. Thank yeah. you so much for letting me in today. Thanks for coming. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you Why so much. Why did you much. not stand up? Let me tell you, you guys have just broken man code. What's the man code? Man I've code. never welcomed a lady in man cave. Yep. What happens yep. in man cave? No limit. Stays, stays in man, man cave. cave. Okay. So it's good to have you. Welcome to Man Cave. Anyway, I'm so, so, so very glad to be here. Welcome to the first ever Preachers of L.A. Yeah. special. Bishop Jones and Bishop McClendon won't be joining us this evening because the Lord has called them elsewhere. Yeah, right. I know you didn't expect McClendon to show up after I put that whooping well, on him. Well, we are in the yeah, house and it started in. Hey, we're there even there you in the fire. I almost whooped him, Doc. Stop it, stop it. I expected him to be here know. to tell his what side of the story. Why can't they be here? Do you know why they can't? I believe Bishop McClendon had a speaking engagement or something what? else he had to do. A speaking engagement? Bishop if you're going to be a part of the show, I agree. be a part of the show. I agree. But if we saved the day to do this, took time out of our busy schedules, then they should have taken time out. I think it would have been a great, a great session to have them here with us and dialogue with us. Bishop McClendon, he's a pretty... Uh, Pretty, uh, I, I would say, colorful guy. Yeah, yeah. Bishop, Bishop Jones, That's a good I, I word love for his it. swag, you know? I'm with you. And so, but I'm, I'm, really, I'm really offended that mm -hmm. they're not here. Anywho, did any of you guys know each other before the show? I knew of Dietrich Haddon. He's been to our church a couple of times okay. with his music ministry. Okay. Done a phenomenal job, but I didn't know him on a more intimate basis than I do now. I didn't know Brother Jay. I didn't know of Brother Wayne Cheney, but I did know of Bishop Noel Jones and uh, Bishop McClendon. Or are they still on the show? That's... I, I believe they are on the <laughs> Shade. show. Shade. Is... I've been knowing Bishop Jones for years. Okay. So I knew everyone except Bishop Gibson. Okay. What about yeah. you, Pastor Hazel? Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd heard of Bishop Jones, and I'd never met any of these guys. The only guy I'd ever met was Wayne up until the show. Since we are in Man Cave, the place where it all started, we should talk about one of the most controversial topics okay. of the season. And that is... Oh, the little discussion about honorariums and uh, entourages. I now, that. It especially I got a little well. turned up, though, between Back Dietrich and, and Bishop McClendon. I remember. Let's look at some footage. Should you charge a fee for the gospel? Answer that for us, Bishop McClendon. Should we charge a fee? <laughs> I don't request okay. an honorary. I ask them, okay. what is it that you have set aside for the man of God or for the ministry, because I don't come alone. And that so. says that your anointing don't flow unless you have your team with you. No, that, no, it doesn't say that. Uh, what it, it means, speaks, it's, no, it, it does, no, no, son, it doesn't say that. We got to come away from all this stuff, man, and get back to the basic now, of, of what ministry is. And all, when God anointed you, you yes, didn't did. have an entourage. Yes, no, you didn't. Give me a whistle. Give me a whistle. You didn't have nobody to pay. You had to You are wrong. The first thing he told you to you do. You need to read your Bible, young man. I'm not as young as you think I am. Okay. Number two, I know my word. All right. So neither are you as intelligent as I thought you were. Now you're going to disrespect me. Huh? No, no. But when you are speaking to someone yes. who has knowledge of the scripture and you are speaking erroneously, you need to listen. Okay, so you're telling me I don't know the scripture? No, I said you no. You, you're, you're, you're disrespecting me. I know he's not disrespecting you. This is exactly why I, um, I didn't want to do this, so I'm done with this. You had the man leaving the man cave. <laughs> That was funny. Yeah. I really, you know, I came in 
with an issue with McClendon, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Mm. Because I felt like he didn't want to be a part of the show, yet he signed up to be a part of the show. And he came in, he's sitting back there, everybody's talking, he's sitting all, you know, it just, I just Do you didn't think like he it. felt like he was better then? I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is the way he talked, and then when you, you call me son, number one, that was, you call me son, I'm not your son. Right. Then you say you thought I was in t more intelligent than than that was an or insult. something. That, that was, was an insult. insult. That was an insult. All that's turned that was up demeaning. All that stuff. You know, I'm not gonna let you get away with that. Do you feel like you really need to collect an honorarium to do your job? What do you have to say? Well, here's here's the deal. I understand that there's truth on both sides. I mean, obviously, when Dietrich goes out, if he's gonna go across the country, he's gonna find out what's prepared or set aside for him. I mean, it's just a part of what we do. The flip side of it is we've all been burnt a few times because we've gotten on planes and flown across the country to find that the gift that they gave didn't honor the ministry that we brought. I never said that you should not ask for an honorarium. The problem is denying them ministry because they don't have enough. He didn't yes, say that. Yes, he said he, he, he said, would deny yes, them. Yes, he did, Wayne. He said if they didn't have enough money, he Wayne, didn't say that. Wayne, he said, he said maybe I'm, maybe not, the man I'm for you. not the guy for yes. you. Here's my point. Okay. There's nobody sitting right. around the table mm -hmm. that does not put feelers out as it relates to how serious someone is when they engage you. That's all I'm saying. I, I simply said that. that you can make accommodations for churches that cannot afford your honorarium. And I agree. He said, maybe I'm not the guy. Well, you know what, guys? We're going to have Bishop McClendon. He's going to video it. Really? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Let's see what McClendon has to say. Hello, I just wanted to come and say I apologize for not being able to make it. It was a conflict in our schedule. And then, of course, when I realized and they told me where it was going to be held, I was glad that I couldn't be there. Uh, just just kidding. But I do want you guys to enjoy yourselves, uh, you know, play nice, you know, be nice. I know things can get heated and, uh, you know, uh, I'm just sorry that I couldn't, uh, couldn't share with you. Of course, when I found out I couldn't go, uh, you know, I reached out to Dietrich. You know, Dietrich and I have become tight and he said he'd pick up my honorarium. So, Dietrich, love you, man. I'll be looking for you. Peace. So tell us, Dietrich, has it been settled? Probably yeah. not. Like I said, it was like pulling teeth to get him yeah, to, yeah. to be a part of the show. Now, right. that is a problem to me. I don't understand it. Okay. Where is he at right now? We'll be right back.